So the backstory for this project is that in about three weeks I'm going to hold a workshop for some high school students and I need a really fun and simple project that they can replicate. So my idea is that we're gonna build something that involves LED lights. But we're not gonna have time to build a super slick enclosure around it. So I think we're gonna look for a super cheap lamp and see if we can kind of make some modifications to it and make a cool project out of it. But I'm not sure yet, so let's see when we get there. This lamp here looks super promising because it's only about five dollars and it's made out of plastic. We can maybe add some LED lights on top here. So I think I'm gonna go for this. Take a look at this marvelous beauty. This gorgeous lamp took me about a day to make and now I'm gonna take you through the entire process. So the first step is to make sure that nothing is missing from the package. What you're looking for is the lampshade and then the base of the lamp. The next step is to assemble the lamp. So what we're gonna do here is to very carefully take the lampshade and put it on top of the base of the lamp. And it's done. That's all there is to it. Now we gotta find something cool to do with it. So what I'm thinking is that we're gonna take off the lampshade again. And what I'm thinking is that we're gonna put some LED lights around here. You gotta remember I'm making this because I think it's a cool project, but also because I'm testing out what 15 kids can replicate with me. I actually have no idea on how we can get this out. Something loosened. I think we're on the right track here. What? Apparently this one just screws into this one, so I managed to kind of nudge it out of position and now I can get the entire thing out. And all that remains is the plastic. So we can just put them back together. Problem now is... <laughs> it works. Okay, we put this on top now. <sighs> what a mess. Just to get an idea how this lamp will look with some lights inside, I added some regular RGB LEDs inside of it. And actually, <laughs> I'm quite impressed, it looks pretty good already. So if you wanna kinda make a very fast and quick LED lamp, then I would suggest just going for this lamp and adding some regular LED strips to it, like this. But what I wanna do is take it to the next level and add some individually addressable RGBs so we can create some more fancy effects and maybe even control them over Wi-Fi. But first, there's something I want to test out. I didn't mention it before, but this workshop is going to be held at a LAN party. What I'm gonna test out is to see if I can make kind of like a pattern on the LED lamp. So I have the Overwatch logo drawn on a piece of paper and I'm just gonna cut it out and try to tape it on the inside and see if we can get the Overwatch logo kind of as a shadow on the front of the lamp. So let's do it. So here's the logo cut out done. I didn't cut out the little kind of tunnels here because I wanted to stay in one shape for now. But I'm just gonna try to take it off and put it on the inside here. I'm just using some painter's tape to stick the piece of paper onto the lampshade. But in the end I'm gonna switch to some transparent tape or even some glue. So 
So Martina kicked me out of the workshop and uh, that's why I have to stay here now. But that doesn't matter because we're gonna do some coding anyway. We added some regular RGB LED lights to the lamp. Let's do it a little more uh, complicated and add some. These are individually addressable RGB LED lights and you have probably seen this in some of my projects before. Basically this is just a Wi-Fi chip right here. It's the ESPA266 and then there's just a power delivery board. It can distribute power from a USB input to this Wi-Fi board. So we're gonna use that to power the LED strips and to power the, the microprocessor. So using Blink.io I wrote some code that runs on this ESP8266 and it basically communicates with this app that I have here. So whenever I slide one of the color sliders on the app, then the color of the LED will change. So this is basically just a proof of concept, I can only change the colors of the LED strip. But of course it can be made to do a lot more fancy effects than this. So if you want to use this chip to communicate with an app, I suggest you go check out blink.io. Now that the electronics is done, we need something to attach the LED strips to. And I'm just gonna use this toilet paper roll, which I'm gonna put in the middle of the lamp. And then I'm gonna use some hot glue to just stick it permanently in place. And ideally you'd use some transparent hot glue, but all I've got is this black one. Oops. So if everything works as it should now, I should be able to control the color of the lights using my cell phone. So let's just test it out. And it seems to be working pretty good actually. And this is really cool, I know you can change the colors using a regular remote. But having it over Wi-Fi and using your cell phone opens for so many more options. And you can basically control these LED lights any way you want to. So I think that's a really cool property of these LED lights. So I measured the base of the lamp and then using Fusion 360 I created a 3D model of uh, a bottom lid and I printed it out using my 3D printer so now the lamp has something to stand on. So now all the electronics will be kept in place and it's very easy to move the lamp around. So is this a super fancy project? No, it's not a super fancy project, but it's a great project if you are just getting into DIYs and LEDs and coding and things like that. So all in all, I am very satisfied with it. And I really hope that the kids that's going to be replicating this project will enjoy it and be proud of the lamp that they are going to be taking home. All of the music in this project was provided by Epidemic Sound. Before we subscribed to Epidemic, we spent a lot of time trying to find modern music that would go well with our videos. But now I can say that we are super happy using Epidemic Sound. It only takes us a couple of seconds to get the right track for our videos. So if you are a creator and you're looking for a great place to find royalty free music, then you should definitely check out Epidemic Sound. And we have a link below that will give you a free trial. Now let's look at the final shots of the lamp and thank you so much for watching.